Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this little video is about power clipping and problems sometimes with power clipping. This gentleman is drawing this in these vertical or slanted, not vertical, angled lines that he power clipped into there, and I didn't know when he first sent me the file what was going on, or extending past the, the rooftop, I guess. So we need to click on that item, and you can see it's power clipped. So we can go right here and extract con uh, contents. And you see this X that it had already put in there. So we're gonna set our nudge factor on this tile or whatever is 12 inches. And we're gonna grab the power clip and we're gonna move it out of the way. But then we have this X, so we're gonna move it out of the way. But then I see there's another copy and I'm gonna move it out of the way. Well, there's, an, there's another copy. There's four copies of this building roof that I don't think is needed. They're all the same. And first of all, Pantone, if you're engraving this, I you need to change things to RGB, but that's another subject. So I'm gonna nudge this over. Instead of power clipping, I'm gonna select it all. I'm gonna go right here to back minus front and then put that back. Now you're guaranteed that those lines will not go past. And I don't, I won't go into it too much, but uh, lasers engraving, I don't know anything about Pantone, but you need to change everything to RGB. It's a blacker black, and you could probably do the whole thing. It might not work, and it didn't, but you could individually select everything. Well, matter of fact, you know what we could do is nudge this out of the way nudge our box out of the way, maybe select, maybe even take this out of the way and select all this and we can make it RGB and you can see it's a lot blacker and then move all this stuff back. And I just happened to notice that these two squares aren't lined up and this is just for a little bit of help for him this bottom section is a little out of the box. And the, our sign is 12 by 12. And the, this bar is 12.021. So see our sign is 12, this bar is 12.021. So you can very easily change that. Now you're gonna change this so we could unlock our ratio and just put 12 here. Now to get them even on the mark, which they already are, but they're off just a hair, we can shift select both of them. I have a little trouble with my zoom tool, so select that. And you can see we have a rectangle layer one, hold down this shift key, and we have two objects found, and then just hit C as in center. And now that line is right on top of that other line. And they're, you know, they're Pantone lines, so I don't know, you know, they're hair lines. If you cut them out, this is gonna cut out too. Let me back out here. This line is a hair line, so that box is gonna cut out, so you need to change it some other than a hair line and make them RGB. Anyway, I hope that helped him a little bit. Thank you for watching.